the 20 most iconic video games of all time. So let's go and bring up a yeah. new tab right over here. <clears throat> Number one, Laura Croft. I don't think so, dude. Nah. It, I don't. It, I don't. It, Agent 47. Like, <laughs> really? That's Agent stupid. I never even played any Hitman games. Exactly. It's like, Seven Link. Look, look, I know Zelda is a good game, but if you if you show Link to an average normie, they're gonna say, "Oh, look, it's Zelda. It's Zelda." <laughs> yep. See, okay, here's the thing: Laura Croft number one, Mario being number two is a fucking crime. Okay, Pac Man should be a little bit more up there. Sonic, I think at four is number. Here, here here's my opinion: Mario number one, Pikachu number two. Yeah. Yeah, and then I think Sonic can be number four. I think Son Sonic is iconic enough. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. if you show a silhouette of Sackboy, like who that? Who that? Yeah. Did you yeah. ever even play Sackboy? A little bit, but it's he's not like he's not iconic. Not even close. It, I think the game would have been better. It was called Ball Sack Boy, <laughs> <laughs> and it's just a scrotum, <laughs> a hairy scrotum walking around. It's like. Uh, Link number seven. Link is very popular, but but yeah, I would say on top twenty. I would say top to top in top ten, but yeah, not but, the top five. Yeah, be, but show that to the casual non gamer. They'll say, "Oh, it's it's Zelda." They're just, they're, they're gonna think they always think they'll interchange the link as Zelda, automatically. Yeah, yeah. Master Chief is pretty iconic. I wouldn't. Not, I would not, say he's not, like, not that not top high. ten. Not top no, ten. Like probably like around no. like eleven or twelve. Right, I, I, Kratos I is I, yeah. I Kratos, I would say he's one. yeah. Um, you you, you you think it's too high for Master or, Chief? Uh, for Master like, Chief, that's yeah. E that's still gen eleven to twenty. Still generous in my opinion, especially Halo. Now, it, not a lot of people are. Yeah, really true. Yeah, you're right. I would say at like the height of Halo, like Halo three, like it would have been everyone yeah. knew what Halo was, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Kratos. I would say Kratos is popular, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't say top ten. Yeah, same. I like, would say Kr Kr Kratos is popular, but he's he's not Master Chief. I would say Master Chief is more popular than Kratos for sure. But in recent uh, years, I would maybe in recent years maybe Kratos would be a, a little bit higher. In my opinion. yeah, Shadow Hearts is fucking stupid. The fact that you yeah. have two Baldur's Gate characters Gate on this list is fucking retarded. No, no, yeah, not even. Sorry. Yeah, Baldur's Gate 3 was a really, really phenomenal game, but <laughs> iconic in the, in a, on a global scale, no. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Shadow Heart and Asterion shouldn't even be, not even in, in the, the top 50. Not even top yeah. 50. Yeah. Arthur Morgan. Now, I, I did not play RDR 2 or R, even RDR 1. But thing is, this is one game. Like, are you freaking Red Dead Redemption's Arthur Morgan at 11? Beating Pikachu at 12. Wow. I like I would say even Mewtwo from Pokemon would have been more iconic. Yeah, like, like I said, actually. silhouette is very, very important when it comes to character design. If you show a silhouette of Arthur Morgan to someone, it's like, oh, is, uh, is that uh is that uh, Ch uh Chuck Norris from uh, uh uh you know Walker, Texas Ranger? People are gonna say that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, Steve, I understand why. I understand why, but I wouldn't say. I would say he's like probably like nineteen. Like he should be like yeah. low twenties. Yeah. 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 Or like. Agreed. Yeah, because like everyone fucking knows who, who Minecraft Steve is, right? Especially people who play video games. Solid Snake is pretty. It's pretty good, but I wouldn't. I would say he, Solid Snake shouldn't well, be that high either. I would agree. Yeah, maybe not that high, but I would agree to you to make it close to that list when the remakes are starting to release again. People will start because yeah. like they're, they're remaking Metal Gear Solid. So yeah. I, I can see Snake being more relevant in in the coming years. Oh what what do you about, what do you think about Crash being on the list? Um, not anymore. I mean I know there's Crash Bandicoot 4, but I, I, I don't see people really talking about that game. So I would even I would go as far as maybe even lower 20s to 30s. Yeah. See, the fact... Okay, Cloud is pretty fucking iconic. 
Like yeah. show a silhouette of of him holding his buzzer sword. Anyone, anyone in the past twenty years, like oh, that's Cloud Strife, right? Like um, Cloud, I would say he wouldn't be top ten, but he'll be like in the teens. Like he'll be in the teens for sure. Like where he is, I think where he is might be okay, but given what's above him is stupid. The fuck that you have yeah. all you have Asmund Gold at number three is fucking stupid. <laughs> yep. Yeah, thank yeah, Danky Kane should be on the list. Yeah, Donkey Kong should totally be on the list. What the fuck? Like uh, uh Danny Brooks says uh, happy late birthday, Phil. Yo, thank you, thank you, Danny. Thank you. Yeah, Donkey Kong should be here for sure. Um yeah, Asterian shouldn't even be here. Night uh Kazuma Q to you, uh not shouldn't even be on the list. Ellie should be on the list, neither does Nathan Drake. Yeah. Like like I don't care how good Last of Us Part One is. I don't care how good the original Uncharted was or how Yakuza. They should not even be on the list. Yeah, that, uh, those, now, three, those three yeah, are like ahead. strictly gamer only familiarity. Show that to a non gamer. Like, eh, who's this? Who's this person? Who's this bearded guy? It's like that, that's it. They 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 have no idea who these people are. Only a gamer would know. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh yeah so 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 this list is this list is absolutely like fake news right the fact that Mario is not number one is it's literally a highway robbery it's so crazy yeah go 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 ahead you're gonna say something uh I, like yeah they should have said like this is um the people you voted for based on our number then show the numbers right then show the numbers that that. That's how they should have presented this. Not actually claim that these are the top characters. They should have shown mm-hmm. the, the numbers. And I, I imagine that would have changed. If the votation was still open, that would have changed that the list would have changed drastically to correct itself. Okay. So Games Radar made a list several years ago, maybe like a year or two ago. I'll bring up what the top 20 is on their list. And we see if this, this is more accurate. Okay, so this one is from BAFTA, which is fucking stupid. This list is fake news, and the fact that Mario is not number one is is ridiculous. Mario is probably the most iconic character out of everyone here, fall, immediately followed by Pikachu and then Sonic. I think th- I think those are those are I think Pac Man and Sonic is probably neck and neck in terms of popularity and uh, well known. I'll say I'll give the edge to Sonic because Sonic is still relevant versus Pac Man is no longer relevant. All right, so let's go ahead and bring up the Games Radar top 20 most iconic video game characters, okay? Let's see if this list is more correct. Number 20, Rayman. Rayman's okay. pretty popular. Um, I wouldn't yeah. say he's, he's popular now, but it, everyone knew in some way or form what Rayman is. And, of course, you got the Raving Rabbits that came from Rayman. So maybe. Um, let's see, number... Gordon Freeman. I did not play Half Life. Do you agree with this for number nineteen? Uh, actually, uh, I think so. I I actually bought. I just bought the orange box for like eighty five cents on Steam. So I, I have all the Half Life games now. But yeah, I think I think it's fine. Yeah, Half Life was. Yeah. If if it was Valve just I, I know it was it was yeah. massive. Massive. Yeah. Had they released a third Half Life three, it's gonna shock the world <laughs> if Valve announced a Half Life three. Mm-hmm. Yeah, great. Um, uh, so 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 Danny says Mario is what's the first game I ever played. Now, what's the first game you ever played? I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure Mario is up there in one of my first ever games. So yeah, yeah. Same Prob- here. Probably say- Mario. Probably Mario. Probably Mario. Yeah, mine. Like I didn't really play, but my first console I ever owned was a Super Nintendo bundle with two controllers and Super Mario World. Which my dad bought me when I was like four, four or five, and it was fucking huge. It was so big. I, I remember we were able to stay up late that night to play Super Mario World. It was awesome. All right, let's see. Um, Cloud at number eighteen. I would say so. I, was, I yeah, would say Cloud's fine. pretty iconic. Number twenty. I mean, number eighteen. Yeah. Oh yeah, the fact that Chun Li or Ryu wasn't on the list was fucking crazy. Yeah, too. yeah. Wow. Yeah, Chun Li. Yeah, thick thighs save lives and nice breasticles. I agree. Uh, Agent Forty Seven. Now, where was Agent Forty Seven in the original list? Number three. Number three. <laughs> oh, okay. I've never played any Hitman. I heard a lot of people liked Hitman. They even made a movie, I, I did, I did. movies out I of it. I played it. 
I played it recently last year. Yeah, I, I, I like it. I, I'm not good at it, but I like it. <laughs> so 16 for you. Do you think this is a good slot for him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Nathan Drake at 15. The other one, Nathan oh. Drake, was at 20. What year was this? This list for game for game zero. I believe this list was, I think, three years ago, maybe three or four years ago. Let, I, let I me, think that's. Th- I think that's a bit of a stretch. Maybe it's a little too high. Twenty plus. Yeah. All right, let me see. Uh, twenty twenty one. It's twenty twenty one. So there, yeah, three years ago. A little too high, yeah, right? That, because the yeah, movie sucked. Yeah, right? the movie and, sucked. yeah. Uncharted 4 came out some time ago already, and they haven't made a new game ever since. So, yeah, yeah too high. Okay. Too high? Okay. Spiral the Dragon. I think I think it's iconic. For me, I think it's iconic enough. I played the game before, but it's no longer relevant. However, yeah. the design is iconic. Like, people was like, oh, that's Spyro. No, but... Uh, I, I think I, that's I, too I, high. I don't know about this. Yeah, I don't think about... I think Spyro is a little too high. I agree. That's too high, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Geralt... At 13. Okay, in modern years, yeah. 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 I would say so. Like, Geralt was in, was in fucking everything. Like yeah. Monster Hunter. He was in uh, Soul Calibur. They had a TV show. Uh, and three games. Like, it's... it's. I, I would say Geralt at 13 is pretty good. Right? And the yeah. fact that I never played Geralt... Uh, not any Geralt-related games like Witcher. Um, and then I played The Witcher 3, which is my first one. I do agree. I would say he's pretty damn relevant in terms of how iconic he is. Um, Ellie at number 12. Um, 2021, right? I, mm-hmm. I maybe too high. Too high. Yeah, I think so too. I think, yeah. I think she should probably be in like the low 20s. Maybe like 22 or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Agreed. But the thing is that you got to factor in the HBO show. How a lot of normies really liked it. Yeah, right? but this is a list from 2021. The show wasn't even yeah. out yet by then. Yeah, so that's yeah, still too high. See, now here's the thing. Do you think Ellie? So according to the BAFTA list, Ellie is on 19. It's still too high. Do you you consider? Yeah, and the picture they use is Ellie from the Last of Us Part Two. <laughs> yeah, that's even that's that's even worse. So no. Yeah. Yo, Epic Mike. What's up? What's going on, dude? What's happening, man? Happy birthday, yo! What's going on? Thank you, thank you, dude. Thank you, thank you for the happy uh, the birthday wishes. Hope you're doing well, uh, Mike. Hope you're doing well, dude. Um, I'm not sure if you're gonna be in Vegas, but if you are, I'll see you there. But yo, hail, dude! Thank you, thank you for hanging out, man. Appreciate it. All right, Z shaped Tetris block. Oh wow! It's a character. What's what's That's our definition? A- wow! No way! What's our definition? <laughs> what's our definition of a character? <laughs> You're discriminating oh, wow, the other. Dude. You're discriminating the other pieces. What about the square? Yeah. Yeah, what, about what about the rectangle? The what about the rectangle? What about the long? What about the flat? Yeah. Huh? What about that yeah. one? <laughs> you're discriminating the other pieces, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually pretty funny. This yeah. is actually pretty funny. I, I actually I, this list list is funny. Um, well, given the fact that oh, now here's the thing. This is before the Tetris movie, right? Mm, the yeah, really good yeah. Tetris movie. And this is this is from Tetris 99, which is fucking awesome. It's a free game on um, the N- Nintendo eShop. Tetris 99, and uh, it's really really good. Like if you haven't played it, it's a it's a free game. It's awesome. Yeah, and, and and it's, any, anything Tetris is good. <laughs> that, that's why there's an entire company yeah. dedicated for Tetris. Yeah, the straight piece should be there. Yeah, this is the gay piece. This is the gay piece. So with the straight piece, yeah, that's that's what we need. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Uh, Salt steak at ten. The uh the bathroom one solid snake was at fourteen. Okay, that I would go agree with the BAFTA. Yeah, I would say so too. Even, I think I think yeah, snake is yeah, a little high. Even, yeah, even during twenty twenty one, so snake is not that iconic anymore. During that time. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Uh, Kratos at nine, and the uh previous one Kratos was at nine as well. Too high, too high, too high. I I was okay. Here's the thing: I never played the original three. I heard the original three is really, really good. Yeah, um, yeah. The fourth one and the fifth one, they're 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 pretty good. Yeah, and, like, uh, yeah. Right. I said last week that 
I thought when the when this Kratos was introduced for the very first time, oh cool, he's more mature now. He's more uh he's uh he's more rational now. But now that we we're done with Ragnarok, it's like I miss the old one. <laughs> I miss the old one where he just beats the shit out of all the Greek gods. Yeah. So so, so they should re re uh remake one and two. I I know you can play three on backwards compatibility, but they should remake one and two. Or at least just upscale all the graphics to make it more palatable for modern consoles. I think that, that would sell yeah. bucket loads. I I might actually go back and play the original three. Like my my it's brother's not... favorite my, my brother's uh, favorite like franchise was and still is God of uh, God of War. He said the original yeah. three is like it's unmatched on how good it was, especially the time it yeah. came out, which is two thousand five, yeah. which is pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was I, crazy. I would say I would say Kratos should be in the teens, maybe like eighteen or something like that. It should be yeah. higher up. Like I yeah. definitely in the top twenty, but not top ten for sure. But yeah. yo, uh, Fifty Shades of Grayson says happy birthday, egg roll. Yo, th- thank you, thank you, dude. Thank you so much for the two dollars. Yo, thank, thank you, thank you. you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Let's see, number eight, Crash Bandicoot. Now the previous one, Crash is at fifteen. Crash, yeah. like I said before, I think Crash is is iconic, but not top 10 material right yep. i would say like i'll say banjo and kazooie might be more popular but yeah but, but i, I know crash did they, get like a, a a recent game came out a couple years ago yeah but no i have not seen people talk about it as much yeah and banjo but yeah. kazooie like their their last game was i think in the 360 which i never even played so yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like for, for me, I I only played one Crash game, which is on the PS1, which is 1996. That's a long time ago. Yeah, I forgot. Hey, what about Danky Kang? Yeah, true. True. What about Danky Kang? Link at number seven. And Link previously was at number seven as well. Nah, nah. It's like the fact, like when you show them a cover of Zelda, a casual person, the fact that for me, an average person would just call that character Zelda. That's what I said. That's not iconic if you can't even get the name right. Like, that's yeah. not Zelda, man. That's Link. <laughs> that's, that's so. Yeah, nah. I okay. Now here's the thing. I would say the resurgence of the Link could be very popular if the movie does good. That's coming out from Sony. Yeah. Right. If that movie actually does really, really good, then I can see Link being like really fucking popular, top ten. Out now. Here's the thing for video game characters. I would say he belongs in the top 10 spot, according to my opinion. Um, I think Link is very, he's timeless, of course, because as every version of him that comes out is a different rendition of him. And, uh, but the thing is, uh, but I, I like during, agree during with... this time, like Breath of, Breath of the Wild was like fucking insane. It was popping off here. Yeah. It's during like, this time. Uh, I would agree with you if it's top iconic gaming characters in the gaming community or in the gaming sphere. But if it's top iconic video game characters around the world, gamer or non-gamer, no. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I would agree, right? It's because like if you showed a picture of Link to my dad and you'd be like, who is yeah, that? Like, oh, 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 it's Zelda. It's Zelda. It, it, yeah. I mean, for sure, it's Zelda. They're just going to say it's Zelda. They're just going to assume the guy in the cover is Zelda because the title of the game is Legend of Zelda. Yeah. All right, next one. Master Chief at six. Now, previously, Master Chief was at eight. Man, and and, and this is this is off of a uh, Halo Infinite. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I, I think this is a pretty shitty list. <laughs> it's also a pretty shitty list. Yeah, and especially nah. if you're talking about like Halo now, especially with the TV show, it's like it should it, it shouldn't be on here. However, Halo is when it when it came out in two thousand one. And it had Halo 1, 2, and 3. Everyone was popping yeah. off. Everyone was playing it. And uh, yeah, I, I would like, I remember me and my me and my friend, we would stay up trying to beat legendary mode on uh, Halo 2. And oh, uh, I remember. Yeah, me and my best friend easily did that. <laughs> like, yeah. It's man, yeah. Like, like those days were like, fuck, like you land parties, you hang out, you know, yeah. eat chips and like fucking hot dogs and drink soda. Yeah. Like, man, those were the days. But now like Halo's fallen off so much. Like yeah. if you told me this list came out ten years ago, yeah, and I'll be like, yeah, I could see uh, it. No, Master Chief being uh, in top ten. I, I tried playing Infinite's campaign. I think the open world did it a disservice. It's I find it's super boring, man. They made Halo open world. 
I, I I'm not a fan of the grappling shit, and then you have to keep grappling to the next area. Not a fan <laughs> of it. It's, it's boring. All right, let's go to the next one. Top five, Pac-Man. There it is. I would say Pac-Man is belongs in top five for sure. Um, Pac-Man over and the originalist was top was on number six. I would say Pac-Man is is popular enough, and everyone knows who Pac-Man is. It's like you can show this to any person. You show this to my dad. He's like, oh, that's Pac-Man. Right? Like, um, do you agree with it being in number five? Yeah, I think it's reasonable. If not higher, if not higher. Yeah, I would say top five for sure. Like, I'm not sure where in five. I would say maybe four, between four and five. Let's see what's number four. Laura Croft at number four. Um, okay, the original one, Laura Croft was one, of course. Yeah. You can make the argument. Not that one. The old one. The big booba one. Not that. Yeah, this one. Where's, where's, where's the tits? Yeah. Where are the damn titties? The yeah. triangle tits one. Yeah, those are the best. All right. Uh, I would say when Laura Croft first came out with Rise, uh, with Tomb Raider for a PS1, everyone was talking about it. And everyone talked about, oh, there's actually a nude mod. You can actually see her see her boobs in, in the nude one. So I was like, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Right? And uh, yeah, it's uh, but I have not played any of the Nero ones. Are the Nero ones good? Uh, I have it because I got it for free. <laughs> I played the first one a little bit. It, it was okay, but it doesn't feel like that authentic old school one. I I do intend on picking up the old uh, the remaster, the recent remaster in the future. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, um uh Riskus for the Biscuit says uh more people likely know Laura Croft from the movies. Yeah, I didn't watch nah, for the Angel Angelina Jolie movies, yeah. Not 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 the Nero one with the long neck, she looks like a fucking giraffe. Okay, let's see number three. Sonic the Hedgehog. I agree okay. with this placement. This is 100%. Okay. This is good placement. The original one, Sonic was four. I would say Sonic is very iconic, still really, really re relevant to this day. And um, I remember the first time Sonic was added to Smash Brothers, all hell broke loose, man. People were fucking going crazy. I remember, um, I'm not sure you used to watch Etika. Um, sad that he passed away. He uh, passed away. Yeah. Aside. Yeah. But uh, he was a big fan of Sonic and Ridley from. Uh, is it Ridley? Ripley from uh, what's it called? Alien. Alien. Yeah, right. yeah, and then Ridley, also Ridley from uh, from uh, Samus, the, the Metroid series. But I would say mm. Sonic number three is a is is a good spot. I would say, um, yeah, the movies coming out, the movies did pretty good. You know, they changed the design and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I would say good good spot. Sonic's pretty uh, pretty iconic um, spokesperson for um, for Sega for sure. Uh, number two. Ooh, there, there we it go. Is. Okay. Pikachu, there it is. Now, this looks accurate for me. The fact that Pikachu was number 12 in the previous one is a crime. Pika Mario, uh, okay, not uh, Mario excluded. Pikachu is one of the most iconic characters ever. Not just not just in video games, but ever, right? Um, I believe Pokemon is a $1 billion, like, uh, uh, what's it called again? Uh, it's basically one... One billion dollar a game, like franchise, right? Like it's it's made so much money, you know. Like you even got fucking crooked Hillary saying Pokemon go to the pose, right? You didn't have her say that. So like the fact that you have some old, old dried up pussy saying that, like you you definitely know that uh, Pikachu and Pokemon's made waves, especially Pikachu, right? Everyone watched it, but yeah, I I would say uh, Pikachu is a good spot at number two. What do you think? Yeah, agree. Yeah. All right, number one, it's better be fucking Mario. All right, we're good. We're good. Okay. <laughs> oh, we're good. All right. This list is, I accept this list more than the more other one. More than the other one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there there yeah, are a lot of sure. missteps in the mid, in the 10 to 20, but in the top, which is what's the most important, they got it right. Yeah. For real, where the fuck is Kirby? <sighs> Once Kirby gets a movie, if Kirby, if they're doing a Smash Brothers universe, Nintendo Cinematic Universe, and Kirby comes out, Kirby will be as popular as the Minions. I guarantee you. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.